Hello and welcome to a new video about Prometic. This time we're going to, well, to the logic. Up to now we talked about how things work, what are items and so on. And now we really want to combine those items to get some sort of functionality. Now we want to build a Prometic control. This we will do then in a few videos long. Not only in this video. I will explain it example by example and those complexity of the examples will get bigger simply. With each video we will get a little bit more complex stuff. So we're starting easy. We want, we want to start with a double acting cylinder and this double acting cylinder shall, we shall be able by the push of a button to let this double acting cylinder go out. If we release this button, it shall go in again. Okay. However, this is, some, let's say this is a dangerous machine and there is somewhere a roller lever valve and this roller lever valve must be operated because then some lid is closed or something like this. Yeah? So we have to close the lid, then it's operating the valve. Yeah? Then I have to press the button and then this thing in there is moving. Yeah? Once I release the button, it shall move back or if I open the lid and the, and the roller lever valve is also excluded or is also relieved, yeah? then it shall also be travel, shall also travel in, in inwards the cylinder. Yeah? This is our goal. So let's start. We have one double acting cylinder, we said. Here's our double acting cylinder. A double acting cylinder, we will use a 5 2 way valve. Here's the pressure line, here's an exhaust line, here's an exhaust line. This line we are going to connect here. So here we have one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. This we say is spring loaded. Yeah. And on the other side we operate with plumatic. And if we operate here, so it's the 1 4 line here. Uh, because if you operate here, 1 will get connected to 4, so this is the 1 4 line. Uh, so this is our the power part. Uh, here we coming from pressure source. Uh, so this is the power part. And then we said we have the input. Uh, so as, as input, we have a push button. And we have a roller lever. As push button, I will use a three slash two way valve. So here is connector one. I will simply connect it to the pressure. One, two, three. Yeah. If I want to push this button, this shall travel. Yeah. So if I connect it here, it will already do this. If I connect it here, it will push this button and this will travel outwards. If I release, this will release, the spring will put it back and it will travel inwards. However, we also said we have here some sort of roller lever. Yeah. And this time it shall be operated yeah? and there is also 
exactly look like this. One, three, two. Okay. So if this is released, yeah, I shall not be able to push. The, uh, I should be able to push the button, however, this should not travel. Yeah. So how can I connect those two things? Yeah. Well, one possibility is the use of a two pressure valve. Since this is an functionality, I need pressure here and I need pressure here to have pressure here. And only if I pressure have, have pressure here, then this will travel. So if this is released or this is released, yeah, because then I have not on both sides pressure, there is no pressure here and this will travel inwards. This would already fulfill this function. Now to the naming. We have one cylinder. Cylinders are MMs. So this is our MM1. Yeah. This is our control element. Yeah. This is our QM1. Yeah. This here is an input element. So this is an, this is an SJ1 yeah. switch. Yeah. And this here is a limiting switch. So this is a BG1. Yeah. And this is signal working. So that's a KH1. Yeah. K for signal information, H chromatic signals, S input, manual input switch, J chromatically, B limiting switch, G position limiting switch, Q control element which is, which is switching the power, M fluid technique, so chromatic control element, M, MM, Cylinder M motor drive, yeah, M second M pneumatic drive. Yeah. So that's it. If you do have distributed things, yeah, where you have sub elements in your in your task, yeah, you could even use a leading. So you can, this is this is sub part, sub logic number one, and then sub logic number two, and so on. Yeah. If you would have more, yeah, more BGs, then the next one would be BG2. So this is one possibility of realizing it. Yeah. We can simply extend this here by, I don't know, uh, throttling check valves, yeah, that we can control the speed of this and so on. Yeah. Or we can even add here uh, treatment unit and, and compressor and so on, or we could simply use this, this sign for, hey, here the pressure is coming. Another possibility of reaching exactly this logic yeah, would, be, would be that. Yeah. So I'll show you an option. Double acting cylinder. Here is the 5 2 way valve, so this is still the same. Here we come from the pressure side, this is 1, this is 2, this is 3, this is 4, this is 5, 4 is connected to here, 2 is connected to here, yeah. so up to now there is not much difference, and there is also our 1, 4 connector, yeah. and I still have here my push button valve, One, two, three, exhaust opening, pressure line, and now here I could simply use this
with my roller lever valve. Now I got rid of this KH1 valve here. Yeah? Now I only have my SJ1, I have a BG1, I have my MM1, I have my control element QM1, yeah? and hmm, I will now call it 2, yeah? because this is the second sublogic. Is this doing something else? Let's see. If I press this button and this one is remains pressed, I have pressure here. Ooh, the spring. I have pressure here. This will travel outwards. If I release the button, this will get de aired here. The spring will move this to the left side and will and it will travel inwards. How it is shown here. Huh? If I press this button and for whatever reason this gets released, yeah, then the pressure stays here. Yeah. I was right here. One, two, three. The pressure stays here and this line is also being relieved and will travel inwards also. So this and this has absolutely the same, the same function. Yeah. Why are we do using this sometimes? Yeah? Simply because, you know, lines can break. Yeah? It's... Well, it's equivalent. Yeah? Here the function is more obvious than here. Okay, so now our logic was to move a cylinder with the touch of a button, but only if I'm safe, uh, only if I am allowed to move uh, due to some check. Uh. Next time we want to do the following. We want to we want to move a double acting cylinder again, but we want to be able to move it from one button and from another button which is located somewhere else. Yeah? So I want to move this if I press this button or another button. Yeah? This will then be in next video. This is the task in our next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.